Border, Submachine Gun, Electric, Burst 2 skill. Electric, take good note of that. And Submachine Gun. Submachine Gun, eh, don't really take... Uh, well, actually, that, that will actually play a role in this situation. So, let's see. Skill 1 is when crit attack hits 2 times, affects targets. Defense, 1.9%. Caster's defense and stacks up to 50 times. It lasts for 3 seconds. So, since it only lasts for 3 seconds, having a submachine gun is pretty important. Hitting that crit rate though is also pretty important, so we are gonna need overload with crit. And then activates when HP falls below 70%, affects self and two ally units with the highest attack. So, three total units, critical damage 50%, which is actually pretty huge. And this will synergize to kind of units that buffs crit rate in particular, like Scarlet, right? And just to mention, Scarlet doesn't really do a lot of core hits. Like, she's one of the better ones to do core hits, but at the same time also being AR when the enemy is a little bit further away then it's a little bit more difficult to do core shots and that's where crit damage comes in actually being valued a lot a little bit more whenever it's not a core shot <clears throat> so this is uh so you need her to fall below 70 percent hp but the thing is like she has an additional buff that will kind of alleviate help this out in particular, let's talk about the burst skill. Affects self and two ally units, highest attack. So same thing as what skill one is buffing, which is uh, it will increase the max HP based on the caster's max HP without restoring HP. So what that means is like when she's bursting, her the, everyone else's HP, well not everyone else, but the ally the two ally units with the highest attack and then herself will be will have increased hp but their threshold is lower what this means is like for seven seconds in that duration of seven seconds then they will have that gap between their max hp and their buff and that is actually intentional in some some units when you want when you have like increased max HP and the HP goes along with it, that ends up being acting like a heal, right? Because the moment that max HP buffs, it will go down. And now your current HP is in relative to your max HP is now, you know, closer. But this one, this time around, your max HP is going to go up, but then your current HP stays the same. What this will help is during especially like during the time where some units have like special effect so pretty easily scarlet is the easiest example when she bursts she will it will affect all enemies but when hp falls below 50 percent there's a critical rate increase for 10 seconds so when she bursts now because of this she will actually likely to be triggering this below 50% HP and along with this one there's additional critical damage additional 50% those are really nice and synergize well with units that have things like this like Scarlet where below HP and you know which other unit has a below HP set that's right we have guillotine so in those situ in during that time as well Guillotine's damage will actually increase because like because of this right every HP loss greater attack and then also in duration on that there's also a bonus damage when her HP falls below 50% there's additional damage here so you can trigger it a lot more faster so this is actually really 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 good with these two teams and lo and behold what are their elements electric electric what's her electric yeah electric is this is gonna be an electric team perfect units scarlet and guillotine easily easily i wonder how she's gonna work out of the box without 
necessarily overloading as well but okay a lot of people are concerned about this like defense right it, this ends up becoming 80 uh, 95 percent defense down from based on the caster's defense right and to give you a perspective let's look at the database nihilister database and like a level 8 so level 8 and to level 10 it had 6.9 6.9k defense but this is actually during season 3 let me look at the more recent boss let's go here let's look at the more recent boss uh, material land eater let's talk about land eater how about land eaters level 8 level land eater level 8 had about 11k 11.5k damage or defense chat can you check how much defense you have when you are on the account on your character how much i think level 250 has about 8k defense or something like that let me see so at level 355 i have about 14 so that's gonna be unrealistic for a lot of you <laughs> 15k okay hold up so let's let <laughs> 16k 17k okay 15k but basically we can basically make this boss's defense down <laughs> pretty much pretty much like down to zero which in terms of at least for me okay let's just start with my 355 okay i'll be able to make that boss down to zero and in relation to that i have units that are about okay like my attackers if we look at attackers how much attack do they have if like let's we'll say your scarlet has 7k def uh demetrius what level are you and what's your attack also but okay let's calculate mine first so if i can get the enemy boss's defense down to zero it's basically let's go with 12,000 divided by 8,000 15% attack increase I'm gonna get like roughly 15% attack increase so let's see about yours you have 7k defense with about 49k attack okay so let's do that calculation so with since 7k defense times 0.95 6.65 so you're gaining about 6600 6, attack it's essentially with the way the math works and calculation but then you have 49,000 uh, so 6.65 divided by 49 13% uh, actually did I am I doing yeah like 13% 13.5 percent so we're looking basically at against higher level bosses we're looking at i guess maybe maybe i'll go with like 10 percent or higher at max skill but yeah that's also there's there's a lot of downsides to it like one you have to keep that stacks up at maximum and you have to i i, I hope that the verse one does help so I'm hoping that the burst one will actually help. So yeah, maybe maybe that will be enough. But yeah, about 10%, maybe 10% equivalent to a 10% attack increase is how I'm seeing it. Am I even uh, dividing this correctly? Is this is she gonna be a reason to build guillotine? I, I mean, like I said, like, Guillotine is performing really well right now, even, like, yeah, for me, she's performing really well right now, so, I don't see, and if you haven't watched the video that I talked about Guillotine, about Scarlet and Guillotine, 
try to see about that guilty in the throne scarlet there's that video it does show guillotine's potential she does still have a lot of restrictions but at the same time yeah why, why why wouldn't you i guess like you know if you're saving resources because i i mean to be fair for me guillotine was a four team third team kind of unit or like i'm gonna be a situational unit i'm not always gonna be able to use her but if you're looking to specialize something and also electric so if you're making like an electric team i think like mass is going to be a good unit together along with it she will buff both scarlet and guillotine together really well i'm gonna be just really sad that i'm not gonna be able to use it consistently with the infinite ammo team but maybe i can just flip flop it depending on situations she does have like potential to be good for tryhards maybe you could get more copies because more copies is more stats and then that will increase the the defense down another thing that i want to make sure is and double check is does this defense is this based of her current defense like with with the overload effects with the defense up or is it just base defense uh it doesn't say it here maybe it'll say it in the actual in game so we'll have to see on that one but yeah overall she is looking pretty good at like a very particular team comp i'm not really gonna dismiss her too much and maybe if you have like spare spare units and you're you've been thinking about building guillotine and scarlet Okay, I'm gonna have questions if you haven't built Scarlet yet, but if you're thinking of building building Guillotine or yeah, if you don't have Scarlet and thinking about building Guillotine, this is something worth thinking about. But also I guess like just think about this one also. Um we'll we'll see if we end up replacing things. Anyways, there's gonna be a lot of testing to figure out on Mast once she comes out. I hope that we get enough resource for her to test things out. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna have to test things out.